celebrating both Youth Day and Father's Day on the same day, which is quite a special coincidence. And I just want to take this opportunity to wish all of our fathers out there happy Father's Day and all of our young people happy Youth Day. This day is quite significant for a number of reasons. We now live in the 21st century where machine learning, artificial intelligence, robots and all of these things are changing our lives. At the same time, we still continue in our country particularly to experience negative masculinity. As a country and as a people, we need to redefine what it means to be a man. When we just look at universities today, about 60% of university enrollment is now about women, and women have done really well, and we need to celebrate this. But at the same time, we need to ask ourselves what's happened to men, because as we know, we have 51% of our population in this country, according to Stats SA, is women, and 49% is men. And the fact that there's a gap in the enrollment numbers at universities when it comes to women and men. Whilst it needs to be celebrated in terms of the progress that women are making, we need to ask ourselves the question, what is happening to our men out there? As we move forward as a country, it is important particularly to redefine a whole lot of things because, for instance, just like we need to encourage girls to get into STEM subjects, in other words, to do science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, at the same time, we need to also encourage our men and our boys to pursue some of the careers that traditionally were looked at as careers for women. As an example, we are involved in a lot of social problems in the country and we need to solve them. And very often, whether it is health or education, we find that it's mainly women who are concerned about solving social problems. And we've got to ask ourselves a question, we can't just leave social problems to be problems that only women must solve. Men have to be involved in solving some of these social problems as well. We need to rethink how we define careers and who must go to which career. As an example, we can't continue frowning upon men being early childhood development practitioners or being primary school teachers as an example because it is important for men to be involved there as well. Just like it is important for women to also get involved in developing robots, in sciences, to you know, fly aeroplanes and all of these things. And it's about creating an environment where both men and women can succeed. At Future Nation Schools, we believe in setting high academic standards for both boys and girls. And that's really important. And that means we have to create an environment where both girls and boys can excel. And I just want to conclude by again wishing our young people happy Youth Day and our fathers out there happy Father's Day.